Hello, my strong, strong friends. Have I got a treat for you. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Maybe you high? <laughs> no, but I am high on life. Okay, guys. Big announcement. <laughs> Is that the title of this video? If so, my bad. <laughs> I kind of hinted at this last time I talked to you. Yeah, I think so, last video. Of, about the rats. And I, along with the massive help from Ryan, who's holding the camera, and Eric, who's behind him. Do you guys wanna? Yeah, no. oh, okay. <laughs> Eric, Ryan, and myself decide to start a little company. We're starting off making some equipment for people like you, lifters. It's like a nice little mashup because of who we are, of stuff that's useful for powerlifters and weightlifters. So, so right now we have three products and I'm gonna show you them just to give you an idea of like what I'm doing with my time. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I'm so busy and people are like, what do you do all day? And yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on and we're trying to like help the sport as much as we can, um, help strength sport as much as we can and what better way to do that than to provide awesome products and hopefully start building a community around our new business. So, um, it's called Strong Strong Supply Co. So if you ever see anything like that, know that uh, we are behind it. So, Strong Strong Supply Co. Strong Strong Friends. You see how it goes? Um, but yeah, we're gonna just develop stuff outside of the like Strong Strong Friends brand, um, which is mostly just like merch for my people. But yeah, useful stuff we got here and I'll give you an overview of the products. Um, everything's really, really affordable and we're planning on developing more products as we go but right now this is what we got. We've got the Cali Roll knee wrap that I talked about last in the last video. These are awesome. This is what I use and I recommend if you're a powerlifter to maybe use these in more off-season training um, where you don't need something as stiff because you're using a lot of volume. Maybe you're traveling which is what these are great for. We've got straps which we all need if we want to be like Steffi Cohen. She uses straps, right? Am I right? Uh, these are gonna be helpful for any pulls that you're doing, uh, any kind of exercises. Today when we go to the gym, I'll use these. Um, I'll use all of this stuff today so you guys can get an idea for what it's used for. And then, everybody needs a little bit of ammonia. You know what I'm saying? You may remember I tried out some of these with my friend Juji Mufu in our videos uh, that we collaborated on. We did a little contest, but these are really great. Usually when you buy ammonia, you have to twist off the cap. Uh, so if you can imagine instances where you're taking ammonia, you're not thinking about, oh, hold on, let me just twist this back on. Ours, you just pop it open. This is brand new. Pop it open. The cap's uh, closed. <laughs> It's sealed. Uh, pop it open, take a sniff, close back, give it to your handler. Much easier. So yeah, um, ammonia, straps, wraps. We're starting off small. We're starting off with just a few things that we already use and that are, make sense for us to start with. So this is it. This is Strong Strong Supply Co. Are you ready? So hopefully that wasn't too long of an infomercial, but just giving you an idea of things that we're doing. Up in, we're in California right now. So we'll be in California until I go to Boise because I'm going to bodybuilding.com headquarters. That's my life update. Let's go to the gym. What gym are we going to? We're going to Venice Barbell. Never been there before. First time for me, first time for you.
Pretty good. Oh, it smells good. Come more. Okay, we're at Venice Barbell. They had music on outside and it was really loud so I wasn't recording any talking points, but they turned it off. Noise complaint from the neighbors. I called in a noise complaint and I was like, can you tell them? Just kidding, I would never do that. Um, so I just finished bench and squats. Roger and Ryan are weightlifting. Wait, who's here? There. <gasps> the puppy. The puppy? The eight-year-old puppy. Can you come out here? Ryan, how's your weightlifting going? It's a tough one today. Puppy! Yeah. He's not camera shy at all. Hi, buddy! Oh. Hi! Oh, Hi, Bear! Hi! Make some friends! Is the name Barry? Like Brock? No, it's Bear. Crossfit okay, Bear. Bear. He's so cute! He's a little cutie. Aww. So I had bench first, and I repped out 135 on my bench press. One of my lifters, Rachel, she's very strong. She ripped out 135. I think she hit 12. Yeah, I think something like that. And I tried to match her, but. What do you, you did two sets of six, paused, and then. We both of us did some more. Maybe she had a little less fatigue than me, but I have no excuse. Yeah, that's why. Hey, I have no shame in letting you guys know that I'm coaching a woman to be stronger than me. That's like Funny. when you know you've transitioned from athlete to coach when you're just like, yep. Yeah. Had it with like Danielle and Maria, they're just like, their potential I think is definitely more than what I can do. Not to say that that's discouraging, but it's like exciting for me. Like, you don't have to just be an athlete. Also, if you have teammates who are stronger than you, then like, the stronger they are, the better you'll get. Hi, cutie. I love this little guy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, man. Meg, I can see your 22 inch calves from here. <laughs> yeah. Those little meat bags. This is how you flex your calves. You, you pretend it's about the puppies, but... Oh, he's so cute! Miguel Big 3. I have a video on it with Sarah Liss and Katie Ann if you want to check it out. It'll be linked here. Great movements to do for your core and back strength and also great to do if you're dealing with any injuries that make it hard for you to lift. That's what Sarah did. Oh god. Come here. You could do 10 minute planks with I this little guy. Oh, I love him. What a sweetie. Has an Instagram? At CrossFit underscore bear. Oh. Are you coming here? Are you coming to me? Hey, buddy. So it's bird dogs, side planks, and, and a they McGill do like crunch. A side plank roll up, and then a McGill crunch. Is that what it's called? McGill crunch? I think so. I'm not sure. It's pretty hard. Some sort of like. Curl up. Don't squish this little guy. <laughs> How much longer will you be here? He's like... <laughs> Does it count if you're resting your head on a dog? <laughs> Meg, what's the best part of an outdoor gym? This. Room for activities? I've been slacking on my 
Your kickups? I've been slacking on, yeah, practicing every day. Sorry, Nick. But Lizzie and I are gonna do a handstand video together. And I won a book bag at a bar in Whistler for doing a, handstand a three second handstand. I won the contest. The bar was very, very low. <laughs> So we've got two colors, black and red. So have your pick whenever you're ready to order these. Is it only $28? $28. $28 as opposed to your quite expensive ass knee sleeve. $90. Nice guys wear. Yeah. And uh, keep them pretty loose, wear them all session. Weightlifting wraps. Should we show a clip of uh, the like, who is it? Milanichev and like Sam Bird. And there's like four dudes, there's like, Two guys holding him down, like oh, one guy yeah. compressing his knee and one guy cranking his wraps, and then they like they like waddle Walk. up to the barbell. And Holy shit! So Ryan's comparing these wraps um, to like powerlifting style wraps, which a lot of times I mentioned this when we last talked about them. A lot of times I'll wear my knee wraps and people will be like, oh, I didn't know you are doing like a quip door for all with wraps, but no, nah, they're just, they're just really flexible cotton. Kind of take off the stiff knee sleeves and switch to something like this in my off season. Sometimes having all the equipment in your bag alone, if I'm being like a lazy power lifter, is just annoying and I'm always on the go. Uh, so, you know, taking off that equipment is kind of like a nice break from that sort of stimulus and you can start working with weights that aren't as totally heavy. You get a greater um, training effect. You can get a Any greater training effect, the same kind of stimulus with lighter weight, putting less intensity on your body. And you rely less on equipment as a crutch. Exactly. And that's not to say that anytime you put on a belt, it is a crutch, but it definitely is helping, assisting your lifts. Time and place, right? Time and place. Right now, 11 months out from my next powerlifting meet. <laughs> We're running jokes that I only do nationals. Um, you know, I'm, there's no need for me to like always have every training session be done with my inzer. Now, as things start to get heavier and heavier, maybe I have some challenging sessions or blocks of training throughout uh, my off season. But right now, I'm doing sets of 10, sets of 8 on everything. It's like, might as well keep it simple. Take a little trip to Pump City. I'm trying to get big, son. How's my bulk? It's coming in hot. Not enough, not enough candy. And it's How bulk. much Ben and Jerry's and pizza did you have last night? Uh, last night I went a little, I had a little cheat meal. <laughs> cheat day. How much weight is this? How much? It, it's 150 kilos. Damn, it's about 650 in pounds, I think. Shut up. There you go. Nice job. Woohoo! Have you gone that heavy in a while? Uh, no. It's good. I squat like four or five sessions a week, and all but one of them are barefoot. Uh. And for volume, because I'm coming back from some hip and ankle stuff from snowboarding, so I'm well, starting to put some it. weight on the bar. Good job. So, my favorite thing about the, the Cali rolls and knee wraps is that you can apply greater pressure wherever you actually need it. So some lifters, they might get a little bit of irritation in like their patella tendon below the kneecap. So they might only wrap there, which I do a lot of times, especially on snatch. Or if they're wrapping the whole thing, they might wrap that a little bit tighter and then the rest of the knee pretty loose just to get a, a little bit of extra warmth. Um, you get people who get their quad tendons, so they might wrap just the quad, like uh, Nick, we can throw a clip up. Or you'll get lifters who don't want the same sort of bunching behind the knee. They don't want to compress the knee, but they just want a little bit of support on both. Like Adam does this. Where do you put yours, Rye? Um, usually if I'm snatching, I'll wear short ones and put them just below the knee. Or maybe I might just cover the knee just a little bit for some warmth. Um, 
clean drinking squad, I usually just kind of go up once, down once, and that's it. That's it. Easy. Okay, you guys, that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. Thank you to Venice Barbell for having us come to your awesome gym and having this sweet place. I love lifting outside. One day my dream home will be just an outdoor gym and a bathroom and one bedroom. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't have any knee support, I definitely recommend checking out strongstrongsupply.com and check out our products. Um, some of the most affordable knee wrap or knee sleeve option that you can find. If you're just getting into things, maybe it's just a less costly and less supportive option. If you're just, just want a little bit of warmth to try, even if you're a powerlifter, I mean, I still use them. So yeah, check out our products. We're really excited about this new kind of venture that we're doing, getting into creating some equipment and hopefully getting more involved on the weightlifting side. I'm really pumped for it. It's cool too to like run a business with uh, having two other owners, so I don't have to do all of the things. Even though with my business, Ryan helps me with literally everything. It wouldn't happen without him. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.